the side effects on the wall said one was pox but i didn't care i knew i was in favor with the odds psych a few days later <laughs> woke <it> up, up. <laughs> Welcome back to another reaction video with uh, the Indian professor. <laughs> Thank you for giving me that name, by the way. Um, oh, the, 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 the track that we're going to listen to is very, uh, it's a highly requested um, video. Um, apparently, it's going to show me a, another facet to Easy Mill is storytelling abilities. And I want to see um, if it's true. I'm pretty sure it's true, but like, I want to see it first time. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, jump into the video. <clears throat> What's up, y'all? Hi. It's been two months already. I tell y'all all about it. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Slowly past the days that I counted before I got in. And I already had the tickets to the bus that I'd hop in. And never consider my own self if I would have tried stopping. I taste the bitter with no health. I got my mind locked in a little world where I'm a good boy. Never was a sinner. Imagine my own self struggling, hunting a buck for dinner. Running away and solving it so a bullet pierces its skin. Administer mm. killers through voluntary systems. Wonder who's sicker. Me or the man who slayed the chain oh. and paved the way. Sorry. That, that that cadence was really dope and the flow switch was really nice too but i i need to i need to get the picture so let me hear it yeah yeah look slowly past the days that i counted before i got in and i already had the tickets to the bus that i'd hop in and never consider my own self if i would have tried stopping i taste the bitter with no health i got my mind locked in a little world where i'm a good boy never was a sinner no. imagine my own self struggling hunting a buck for dinner no. running away and solving it so a bullet pierces its skin mm. administer killers through voluntary systems wonder who's sicker mm. you're the man who slayed the shame and paved the way for my generation to play so dope administer killers through voluntary systems like i don't know if you guys know about the study where a lot of people who have uh, psychopathic tendencies tend to sign up for wars and stuff um you know it, there's been accounts of serial killers being a part of uh, the uh, the army just to participate in wars and invasions just to you know uh, get a release from brutally killing people you know so he's questioning it uh like who's who's sicker the serial killers or these actual killers uh who love killing or the system that administers killers through voluntary systems like you can voluntarily sign up for damn that was deep that was deep struggling hunting a buck for dinner running away and solving it so a bullet pierces its skin administer killers through voluntary systems wonder who's sicker me or the man who slayed the shame and paved the way for my mm. generation to pledge and march in days of rain uh. not even the slightest clue on how to take away the pain and i couldn't seize up these thoughts on my way to basic training i went in with good intentions most didn't believe me they need to see me my good friends wish me luck even though they don't want me leaving I guess it's even Okay Compared nice to them, is this to better myself cause I just be rapping It's always happening <laughs> The more I think about it, they must be sitting back home and laughing While I'm in Lackland yeah, finally I don't think they were happy that you left to Lackland, right? I don't think they were happy, but I can imagine you picturing that I can also imagine you I can also imagine you you know sitting with your squad squad mates and like rapping and shit it's it's pretty cool i think he threw that in there just to lighten the mood because it was getting a little painful probably exactly. yeah finally set foot chilling up in the airport uh, uh. saw the cats they're sitting we joined in the air force wait wait wait, wait. did he also say huh because <laughs> i was going to the beat right and i saw and i said huh and like <laughs> I think you said huh as well. 
Saw the cats there sitting. We joined in the Air Force, uh, and that was the grave I'm they digging. Did. But it was my dare choice, uh. Will we be end up killing a couple of scared boys? Uh, oh, shit. That might have been not the real case, but it definitely crossed on my thoughts. The TI's expectations leveled on making us follow like bots. Storm out for one, three, twenty seconds where we filled up our slots. A few days in, and some already want to tie their necks up in knots. Oh, but no. now it's the nature they cultivated. They make it wait. See, I have some friends uh, in the United States, right? Who've been in the army, who served and shit, and they've told me uh, stories about stuff like this, where the training regiment was so difficult, and the food provided was so bad that so some people wanted to kill themselves. They wanted to hang themselves up and stuff. And I think it's similar with most countries. I think so. I'm not really sure. I wanna tell you there next up in knots. You know, a knot is, you know what a knot is. Come on. Days in and some already want to tie their necks up in nuts But that was the nature they cultivated They make it way too insane For those who think it's a game When in truth it really is You just gotta know how to mentally play it I should never say it But motherfucker reporting statement I went in with good intentions Most didn't believe me They need to see me Yeah My good friends wish me luck Even though they don't want me leaving I guess it's even Mmm to them is this the better myself because i just be rapping it's always happening the more i think about it they must be sitting back home and laughing while i'm in lackland the day came when we had to get our neurotic shots to stabilize all our systems but man it was too much what and the side effects on the wall said one was pox but i didn't care i knew i was in favor with the odds psych a few days later <laughs> woken up <I'm> <laughs> man bro that's you know the the, the reason the reason it's funny uh, is because um uh, there's been moments in my life where i thought you know it's not gonna affect me <laughs> i'm gonna be fine and that s fucking the reality sets in and you know it actually hurts me <laughs> i get it i get it I, was, I don't know i don't know how you guys listen to songs i really don't know because because every song that i listen to uh i picture it right i picture it i imagine it i visualize it in my head like it's like a movie right and and i i it's like i experience the song or experience it like in a visual form and that's how i i'm able to put the pieces together uh so it's it's more vivid for me when i listen to music while i'm in lack the day came when we had to get our neurotic shots to stabilize all our systems but man it was too much and the side effects on the wall said one was pox but i didn't care i knew i was in favor with the odds psych a few days later woken up up on my bed bro no. just got so sick that i was feeling hella dead, dead bro. bro went to read and can't believe it what they said though that i was going home they sending me to med ho. okay that was the place that i actually spent a month in the atmosphere was chill you could slack and no one's fronting but the thing that got to me was the fact they gave us privileges at the cost of cleaning the crap out of latrines and it Aww. limit us to cut off some back i i gotta tell you something <clears throat> because it the uh, he, he rapped about the cleaning up the latrines i used to live in um, a boy's comment right um so like they gave us the boarding uh, pl it, it's called the boarding uh, school so we used to live there and, and study there and you know all, everything we learned stuff over there and shit so one of the things that we had to do during the weekend was clean the whole entire playground for the school that we were studying in and also clean the bathrooms the 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 school bathrooms not just the bathrooms that we were using in our boarding space but also the school bathrooms uh, and it, it i don't know it ta it taught me to appreciate everything that i have till this day it, it gave me a lot of discipline in my life and um at some point in my life when i was younger i did lose it for a few years uh that story i'll share with you guys uh maybe it's a shameful part of my life and um i was disgusted about that part of me but you know you get what i'm saying like these things are painful when you do it it actually is painful it's very humiliating um but it teaches you it teaches you to value everything everything
and it gives you a newfound respect for people who do this for a living right and uh you know you see them in a new light you you gain so much respect for them actually spent a month in the atmosphere was chill you could slack and no one's fronting but the thing that got to me was the fact they gave us privileges at the cost of cleaning the crap out of the trains and then limit us to cutoffs and back to confiscation like that just straight up felt like we cat the boost of surges sit for us who got some birthdays they passed like no one's business was happening to the shit like no cat can't understand it but that's just the side of me that's really pissed and wants to hate it the truth is i understood that my body couldn't take it maybe the brightest side is now that i'm back home in vegas but to those who believe i'm sorry y'all i didn't make it i went in with good intentions most didn't believe me they need to see me yeah my good friends wish me luck even though they don't want me leaving i guess it's even compared to them is this to bet on myself because i just be rapping it's always happening the more i think about it they must be sitting back home and laughing while i'm in lackland hey shout out to my 322nd boys man <laughs> burgess davis and the ones i came with from vegas thompson weatherspoon sadri hope y'all doing good man it was all my man old boys like del toro alpha six y'all i told y'all i'll make this song about fucking bmt and all the metal and shit but it's all good, you know. You just gotta play how sketch, eh? It's pretty cool. He shouted his uh, squad mates and shit. I I felt a lot of like a disappointment in himself um, for not having been like not being able to see through it. I see. I, I hear that, and also I don't know if you uh, if you heard the tone switch at a very specific part after he said psych his tone switched to something else throughout the entire song he maintained this uh, emotionless tone in his voice uh, I, I think that was to send to get the message across uh, because the experience that he's talking about was very dark and very chilly very like emotionless and there was a lot of pain involved and you had to numb the pain in order to live through that experience that he was living through right and he, ha he has to convince the listener uh that that uh of that vibe right and I, I, his tone throughout the majority of the song it delivers that and i love that i love that with an artist i love that about any artist that can do that and and i'm impressed about that that part right and the storytelling abilities it's this is pretty good right it's pretty good but I think Easy can do way better than this, right? But his storytelling ability is, is there because I was very, very invested in the story that he was saying. So that's good. That's really good. And I appreciate that uh, about his artistry. And uh, the tone switch that I was talking about, uh, when he switches from the emotionless tone to the, to the uh, cloning tone, he was cloning himself. Because uh, it was like, <laughs> you dumb fucking idiot. You thought you were okay, but you know, it's that tone, the tone delivers the vibe of the song. You know, I believe in that. And I can picture it, like I said, and I heard it and uh, I appreciate the song. It's a good song. Uh, it's a very, very good song. I want to hear more storytelling songs uh from easy because i want to explore more into his uh, storytelling capabilities i think he will learn from m about it because m is really good with uh, teaching people uh patterns and structures to storytelling uh, he taught uh fun fact royce the fine nine he learned his uh structure and his uh rhyme rhyme patterns and why which word goes where why why this has to sound like this for it to fit the pattern all of that from Eminem. Royce the Fine Nine, I'm talking about, one of the greatest lyricists of all time, you know? So, Easy will also learn from him. I'm, I'm looking forward to his growth in every which way, shape, and form, okay? I enjoyed this, uh, and thanks to everybody who recommended this song. Um, I hope you're happy with it. Tell me what you guys felt when you heard this song the first time, and tell me what you guys think about this reaction, okay? I'll see you guys uh, in a little bit with another video.